Good afternoon, evening. It's 6.03 right now on a Friday. And I found these glasses when I was going through <laughs> all my stuff. And I don't remember if they're the ones that gave me a really bad headache or not. So we were trying them out. So far, I did not get a headache from them. And they are blue light glasses, so they don't give me a headache in that sense. But my head is so big that sometimes the sides start to give me a headache. So, um, but I got a few new pieces for my apartment yesterday and today. And running around today... Ben is gonna be back in like 10 minutes and we're gonna go get a dresser. I should make sure that the measurements are gonna fit perfectly between both of our dressers or both of our um, closets. But welcome back to the channel. My name is Ashley. If you're new here, if not, welcome back. The Bumble BFF date went so great. It was so nice meeting her in person and we were just like chit-chatting it up like all night. We played bingo. I won something, cannot tell you what I won because I was so confused because I was already like tipsy off of, I had like a, I had two IPAs and I'm not a beer drinker girl at all. Measurements look good between my closets as well as it will fit in my car. We are seeing It Ends With Us tonight. I'm so excited for it because it is one of the very few books that I actually have read from first to last page. Most of the books I start and never finish, but this one was different because it was so good. I think Ben should be here any second. Yeah, he's seven minutes away. Um, but I'm doing some laundry right now. And sorry, I'm like all over the place, but so today I had a really relaxing day. I just worked on the computer for most of it. And uh, I also uh, ran and picked up a entryway table, which I'm using for like a little side table in the office. And then when I was there, it was in the same city that I picked up the TV stand, which we're using for in the main like kitchen area for storage. When I picked that up yesterday, I used her tarp to easily like slide it into the car. And so I dropped that off when I was picking up the other table. And I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow like what it's looking like at the apartment with the new pieces because I'll wait until we get the one tonight or at least like in a little bit. But let's see. Yeah, so I did that and uh, I do have to post still on my social media page. I need to work on that. I hate how I'm like bald right here. Yesterday, I got back from my dog clients and uh, I'm gonna laugh at myself about how much I'm brushing my hair. But I got back from my dog clients in the morning and I gave Stormy a hug and I realized he did not have any hair on his back, like paw, one of his back paws. And then I was like, it's red. And then puss started to come out. And so we got an appointment for him last night that Ben brought him to. And he just has like a puncture wound between like his like claws. And uh, so we were given like meds, two things of meds. And one we give every 12 hours, the other every 24 hours. And uh, we've been doing that, keeping a close eye on his paw. We have a cone on him. I hate the cone because literally he can't get comfortable and obviously it does not look comfortable either. But I woke up in the middle of the night last night and uh, he was just staring at me with the cone. He looks like Pixar. <laughs> So that's really upsetting and I feel so bad for him. So Ben and I are keeping a close eye on it. We hope that it, it heals soon. And uh, we really want to clean it. I was going to give the vet a call, but then I was running errands and I forgot to. So 36, so they're closed and they I think they're, they're closed until Monday. So I won't worry about it too much. I didn't mention anything to Ben about cleaning it. So we're just not going to touch it because I think that's the best case scenario. So now we're here, really excited to get this Italy vlog up for you guys. It'll be like four vlogs back, so it'll be uploaded way before this one, but 
it's just so exciting like editing something that is such a really like one in a lifetime experience that we had so yeah ben will be here in just a second we're gonna run out and get the dresser but welcome back to my vlog sorry for the little ramble at the beginning Ben and I have decided we just picked up the dresser and we were gonna make some salmon for dinner tonight but I saw this Italian restaurant the other day that reminded me of this one back in Iowa City so we're gonna run and get dinner here and then run and then like chill at the house and then we have a movie tonight <laughs> Ben and I tried that new restaurant and I got the risotto as you guys saw and Ben got gnocchi and then we split a salad. Honestly, we rate it very low. We weren't a huge fan. Ben, how's your hangnail? Yummy? Still a hangnail. <laughs> Still hanging on? Somehow. Um, but yeah, Ben and I laugh because we've been getting a few things here and there big furniture pieces and our neighbor is always outside right when we need his help <laughs> and we're like can you help us bring in another <laughs> furniture piece it's so funny so we have new furniture which i said earlier i'll show you guys tomorrow but and i about to head out grab some snacks at the gas station and then go to the movie it ends with us and we cannot wait Ben has no idea. Ben doesn't have any expectations because he didn't read the book, but I read the book a while back. Are you ready, babe? Are you gonna wear jeans? Change into something comfy. Oh. And I'm gonna bring a blanket and I'm gonna bring Stormy. JK. <laughs> really? I'm keeping that in. No pizza pudding, baby. <laughs> I think you should help me save my daughter. But how do I know that you're gonna keep your word? I swear. We just got finished with It Ends With Us. And, uh, sorry, don't mind this like weird shadow going in. Are you good? Do you know how to drive? No, I did. I just wanted to make sure I didn't put it in stick. You can't put my car in stick, it's on manual. Automatic? You oh. can put this in manual though. Really? Well, that's what this is right here. You move it over to the right. <laughs> it was so sad. I think I felt like I needed to cry more because I knew that I couldn't cry. Like, I could, but I just get embarrassed to cry when there's, like, a bunch of people around me. And I'm sniffling, but it was so good. But I have to say, if I didn't know... If I didn't read the book, I don't know if I would have gotten as emotional. It was more like, oh my gosh, I know it's going to happen to you, Lily. Like, don't put yourself into that situation, whatever. Because honestly, like, the books made it sound like ten times worse and all that stuff. But I did see Colleen Hoover was in the movie during one of these parties. And I was like, oh my gosh, wait, that's her. She like, it's like it called a cameo, right? Mm-hmm. Well... Now it's time for us to get some sleep and because I have a really bad headache from this the huge screen and it being so late and crying. We're getting a mount up so we can, uh, oh, sorry Stormy. So we can mount it onto this area right here and then we could take away like this big cubicle and just kind of like open the space up. We're gonna be coming back to this tomorrow. <laughs> it is, oh my goodness gracious, my hair is a little crazy. I had a headband in all today, but it is about 9 p.m. right now. We're feeding Stormy. He's, his foot is doing so much better. We've been giving him two things of medicine, one every 12 hours and then one every 24 hours. We tried to set up the TV today. It didn't really work out. <laughs> so we're gonna try again tomorrow. And unfortunately, we think it's like a, we have to get something more specific because the stud is like a metal stud and not a wood one. So when we try to drill in, it doesn't go in any farther because there's the metal. 
So we have to figure something out, but we have a few ideas, but I'll keep you updated tomorrow because that'll be a tomorrow thing. And we just picked up Jimmy John's because we're, we really weren't feeling anything else and we're like, we'll just get a sandwich to call it an easy night. But we went to Des Moines for the farmer's market earlier and that seafood sushi place is probably the best food that I've had so far in this part of Iowa. In Iowa City, there was a lot of family owned, like I, maybe like mom and pop shops, you could say, but it wasn't, when I think of mom and pop shops, I think of like older businesses that have been around for like so long that are more like, they look older, but in Iowa City, they are very up and coming and very modernized. And they had so many good restaurants there that Ben and I like would love and we have so many staples that, we really liked but here we're still trying to figure that out but we like the bluefish i think it was called so that's on our list if we ever are hungry for that again ben is not a huge seafood eater i'm not either i got a vegan what was it called like a vegan thai sushi it was a sushi roll but it doesn't have any fish in it so it was so good though and then we got charred edamame and uh, yeah ben what are you doing no, don't, not yet, because we'll do it after we eat so then we could do the review. Gotcha. Sorry. I want to do the review before we try that one. We're going to watch some AGT All-Stars, and it's so good. We really like it. And chillax for a little bit, and then we're going to do a little wine tasting. We got some wine at the farmer's market. So check over on my TikTok, because I did one two weeks ago about a Sauv Blanc, and this one is a different Sauv Blanc, and it's made locally in Iowa. Maybe I'll beat Ben in a sequence. Psych. Not psych. You guys are currently on Stormy's dog food on the counter because I have my tripod, but there's an attachment that I put under my camera to attach it to the tripod and not really sure where that's at. Saw it, moved it, can't remember. So, Ben and I just got back from Target. We are doing the TV mount today. We we're gonna do a um, ben, what were we gonna do? A drywall mount. A drywall mount, no drilling required. But then those ones didn't move or tilt, so we're going back to square one and we're gonna figure out how uh, to get this up with the steel studs. So we're gonna run to Lowe's, but we just went to Target, like I said. I'm gonna give you guys a little haul and then we're gonna run back out, go to Lowe's, and then our grocery store and we're making tacos tonight. So we gotta get some stuff for that. Oop. Oh God, food stuff that we got. We got Sweet Lorenz, Ben and I's favorite dessert. You can either eat it as a cookie, like put it in the oven. You can eat them in like cookie dough form or what I love to do is put a cookie dough piece in a bowl and then put some milk and then put it in the microwave for like 15 seconds and it's like cookie dough, it's so good. We got some Balanced Breaks cheese and crackers with the Ritz cracker, and I love, Treat? um. Treat? Why are you saying that while I'm trying to do this, babe? And it has pepper jack cheese in it, which I love. That's my favorite type of cheese. We got two of them. Ben got some ham from there as well for his sandwiches for the week. I was, what? And for Stormy. Oh yeah, and for Stormy. I was gonna try making my own chai tea concentrate, but my problem is with chai tea, first off, I don't like coffee. I do chai tea instead if you're new to the channel. Um, and so I always have chai tea, but then it started giving me really bad anxiety at night. And no matter if I had it early in the morning with food, had food before, whatever, the caffeine just did not mix well with my body. So I stopped and uh, it's been great, but I still want something to drink in the morning and uh, I don't really want like a poppy or a drink, a fun drink like that until around noontime. So they have decaf chai tea and I was gonna make my own with the Tazo tea bags because then there's not like added like cane sugar and honey. I can add it myself and know the exact amounts and what I'm putting in there. But the only tea bags that they have were on Amazon and it was like $40 for literally a hundred a hundred tea bags. So I was like, maybe I'll try to concentrate, see how I like the decaf, and then from there, if I really do like it, 
I can get the tea bag. I got this, the Tazo Concentrate Decaf Chai Latte, and uh, I'm gonna do it with a, an oat milk that I've loved, which I found as well. It's the Chobani Extra Creamy. I love it really thick. We got some meat for dinner for our tacos. We use this Impossible Meat, and it's so good. Oh, I was gonna say we forgot to get taco seasoning, but we didn't get it because we're going to the other grocery store. And then my favorite part of the haul are the two things that I found for myself. <laughs> so there's this limited edition, it's the Hearth and Hand collection, and this is like a maroon with like an ivory. Stanley of course and they had a few other different patterns. They had a like a full-on maroon one It was just like it was kind of the inverse of this so maroon all over and then the ivory on these little pieces But I really like this one and then I also found These shoes which is so funny because I have this dress that would be so perfect for Halloween. <laughs> these are The shoes they were literally like 20 bucks and they're, whoops, I'm on a really red kick. I love my red, so I got these. I love the toes, I'm not a pointed toe gal, so that was a plus on these. They also have a little heel. Everything about them, so cute. But the funny thing is, I have a dress that looks like Dorothy, and these shoes just go perfectly with them, so I could be Dorothy for Halloween. I'm gonna try to figure out some outfits with them and wear them and get some use out of them and really try to fine outfits that go with this instead of just putting them in my closet. Last thing Ben and I had to get for the mount were these drill bits that were a lot longer and we could put into the hole what we think Ben's working on. Ben's gonna be working on that. I'm a little confused so Ben's gonna take over the reins and get it all set up for us because it just really didn't work out when we were both trying to figure it out. <laughs> I'm gonna put this stuff away and then we're gonna run to Lowe's. Many hours later we got the TV up it looks, there we go. This is like kind of like the angle that we'll see it. I want to try to figure something out with the cord. I don't know if we'll be able to do anything, but maybe like put it like along the trim and put it down. I don't know. But we're moving this into the guest area and I am on to organizing my toolbox now that we have accumulated so many tools by putting up this mount. Good night, Stormy. And Ben really took one for the team and uh, did most of it. Thank God. I was kind of stressing because I get like overwhelmed very easily. But I have a toolbox. I'm going to organize this a little bit. So much fun. <laughs> Just went into the grocery store and I'm on my way back. I got some stuff to make tacos and some cilantro lime rice. I have struggled finding cilantro lime rice and Ben actually found one that was in like the health market of this grocery store and it was actually really good but it still just wasn't the best and I thought to myself wait I could just make this myself so we literally have been doing that and uh, that works so much better and it tastes 10 times better. Ben is at the driving range and then I'm gonna make some dinner. It shouldn't take too long like at all. Tacos do not take a long time, which I'm excited for because I'm so hungry. Okay, I'm cooking my shells. I love the siete. I have mushrooms that I cooked also that I love to just put salt, pepper, and this Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning on. And then I have the meat. Those are my shells. And then over here, I cut up some fresh green onions. And then I love to top it with some salsa, the Siete brand as well, sour cream, and then you have some shredded cheese and Frank's Red Hot. You can also put like cilantro. I like to put cilantro on there, but I really cut up the cilantro for my cilantro lime rice that I was talking about earlier that I make. Just finished making dinner. I had my two tacos and then my mushrooms with rice on my little side plate. Good morning. All right, I need to feed Stormy his melts. Stormy loves getting his medicine because he doesn't know that he's getting his medicine because we put it in ham. Stormy, you guys. <laughs> he 
He's a monster. I picked up some of these yesterday. I'm going to make some. And then I'm going to make my new chai tea and see how I react to it. So come with me to make that. So first we're going to put in the Tazo Decaf Chai Latte. It's obviously super self-explanatory. And I don't like it as chai tasting, as spicy I guess you could say, so I don't put too much. This is really good. It definitely reminds me of fall and I'm not mad about it because the weather is getting a little cooler and I'm starting to wear a light coat outside when I let Stormy out there. I'll keep you guys updated tonight how I'm feeling because that's when I usually deal with the repercussions. Sorry, I keep just checking on Stormy because I took his cone off and I don't want him to lick his paw, but his paw is doing a lot better. I did wake up to him trying to lick it this morning, so I'm still continuing his meds since I just gave him one today and we have a few more um remaining i think we'll just kind of give him the rest and uh, make sure that the infection's fully not infected anymore well good morning happy monday um today i need to clean up the kitchen work on my computer and uh, check on some emails i think i might run out and get a facebook marketplace pickup and i want to show you guys the pieces that ben and i got for our plates I just went to Target because I had to return my uh, shoes that I got, the red ones that I showed in, uh, oh I know it was in this vlog, um, that I showed this weekend and uh, they were a half size too big when I was taking out Stormy so I'm like I better return it before my, win my return window closes and they're sold out for the rest of eternity. Um, so I did that and then I also found these like clear bins so I got two of them and then I got something because we need that but also I need cash to pay for <laughs> this uh, thing that I'm getting from Facebook marketplace so I needed to get a bunch of cash back and uh, so I used like my big dollar bills and uh, did that but Pretty much, I am going to pick up something on Facebook Marketplace. I need to message her. First, I need to see when my ETA is. And then, gonna pick that up. And, uh, did you guys see that furry Target dog? That's uh, That scares me. Ever since I was younger, I have been afraid yeah, of night. those things. Just did my Facebook Marketplace pickup, and now I'm going to get a smoothie. I realized I only had two biscuits this morning and uh, my decaf chai tea so I'm super hungry and my body is just really hungry so I'm gonna get a protein smoothie and then get back to my apartment totally looking up why my camera does not make the beep noise every time I start recording and the only reason I really want to look into it is because it makes me feel like it's not recording even though I see that it is but I just ran into the fresh fit meals smoothie place I have like pre-made meals kind of like the the companies that do the subscriptions and send it to your door they have that like in the restaurant or in the place which was really cool but i got this acai with vegan protein and it's so good and i literally paid for this like big size it was around like seven dollars so i thought that was pretty pretty good so i am gonna run back to my apartment actually honestly i'm gonna get back pretty close to when ben will be getting back so i think i'm gonna run to the grocery store once i get in that area and get stuff for dinner we're gonna do salmon and uh, I'll get broccoli because I know Ben likes broccoli more than green beans and then we have rice so that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight
I actually feel so productive today. So it is about one. I just made this little caprice. Um, I have fresh mozzarella and I actually got the basil and tomatoes from the farmer's market this past weekend. But the basil, I don't know how to clean it because when I cleaned it, it was really, it got really mushy, almost like sauteed uh, spinach. So I also think I cleaned it way too late and so it was already getting brown. I'm like, dang, I should have cleaned it right away and put it into containers. But I'll probably look on TikTok to see how to clean it properly. But having this little appetizer right now and then I just put some food into the air fryer just some plant-based nuggets to have I'm not too hungry so I just want something little but I'm so excited about this got some fresh salt and pepper on top and I'm gonna sit down and uh, relax for a quick bit While you guys have been charging up, I have been grinding on all sorts of stuff for my dog walking, I need to do YouTube. Oh my gosh, my eye just flinched. YouTube. Well, let me show you what I did and I can show you the pieces that I got off of Facebook Marketplace and then I'll close off this vlog and start up a new one. Finish this dish detergent and have like a little bit left. That's why I still have it. But I made my own. I think for next time, I'm gonna put the oil in i forgot which one which oil she recommended i have mineral oil but she didn't say that one she said like coconut but she also said aloe vera but as you guys can see the aloe vera is just swimming on the top and bottom so i did a half cup of cast aisle soap unscented i did 20 drops of lemon essential oil one tablespoon of your um oil which i use the aloe vera you can also use that as well and then you fill up the rest with filtered water give it a good shake and then i just like use this pump and then i just pump it onto here and clean and it's a lot cheaper so i did that i also ran the dishes I'm finishing drying right now and i have some drying up here and then i'm going to toss the stuff in and then i'm making a casserole tonight but ben is so sweet and I'm gonna run to the store and grab a few things for that casserole. So, let's see what else I did. I, still on me, being good boy. I just cleaned up the living room, put away all our stuff. I feel like we wake up and we keep some cups out from tea or wrappers, so it's always nice to have like a clean place. Looks like it's not in the middle. But it's nice and clean. Have this. I watered my plants a few days ago, so I didn't have to do that at all. And folded the blankets up. First piece is this little, it looks like it's not even on the wall, but it does in person, if that makes sense. But I got this from Facebook Marketplace for $50. And it's not fully organized. Clearly, I have stuff up on top, but. I know I want bins right here. Maybe get two more of those bins, get two other ones, but I love this. It's perfect. We'll see what I can do with it. I have clothes on the drying rack. Let's see if I can actually get them off the drying rack before next week when I do laundry because I feel like it's been hanging up since we moved in because I hate taking the clothes off the drying rack. It's honestly my least favorite part. I have a few things that I want to bring to stuff. This TV fan i have some clothes as well this nightstand i'm going to try to sell on facebook marketplace all these purses i need to find a home for because in my dresser or not my dresser in my uh, closet i also have a bunch of purses so it's already taking up a lot of the space this stuff needs to be dry clean so i don't i need to look for dry cleaner i move this cubicle into here and I just have like bins full of random stuff. I'll go through that. But this will be leaving. This stuff will be leaving. Um, and then hopefully we can get a desk because honestly a desk would be so helpful. Just to like have a spot for our stuff. Because I know Ben's cords. Maybe I'll put it into a bin in the cubicle. But 
I have the printer. My iPad was up because I was watching a podcast on YouTube. This Christmas tree, I need to get a cover so I can then put it into that closet because it gets everywhere, this frost, and I don't want to get everywhere in the closet. These are just like empty bins. I like need them eventually, but it's just I don't know where to put them. They don't, there's not a lot of room as you will see momentarily. And then I just have a bunch of stuff to still go through. So that's that. This is what the closet is looking like. And this is our extra closet. So I have my extra like sweaters and long sleeves, dresses, and then like a few more right here. And these are like more sweatshirts. I have way too many. This stuff is just filled with like bags. How do I have more bags? Once again, I'll have to go through that because I don't I have no idea. Over here in the room, this is the dresser that I picked up. This was about $70, not too bad. Um, I'm not sure if the brown is really the vibe in here because we have our nightstands and this, maybe I could paint it, but I don't wanna like mess it up. But shelves work really good. It's really easy to pull out and, or I guess I should say the drawers are really easy to pull in, pull out. Um, and these are really nice like black Bit, like knobs so I do like it I'm just gonna have to work on it and like figure out what I want to do up here because I don't want to put a lamp because we already have our lamps on the side tables and we'll figure it out but I did end up fitting everything else into here there's no more clothes all on the ground and then Ben's stuff has been like clean since day one with all of his stuff so those are the two pieces and then I have two more loads of laundry to do. So this is the other piece which is a TV stand which we're going to use for like this like wall. This is where like a the living or the tape kitchen table would be but we're not having a kitchen table. So it's just like very open in here and I thought something big like a TV stand would be perfect that's a little taller as well so I have that I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that there those cords need to go somewhere else <laughs> but all the stuff would not be there and I might put a mirror and a big vase and put like fake flowers and stuff I was also contemplating on putting wallpaper behind these glass doors so I could just store a bunch of stuff and it doesn't have to look put together and I was also working on maybe put bins like that on the ends or something like that and then we do have this closet. So I have all my shoes. I have more shoes right there and right there. We have our coats and uh, that's really about it. Those are the top three pieces we just got and I'm super excited about them. I just know that I need to figure out how to like make it look pretty now <laughs> because it's just like in that spot. So. That will be for another video because right now it is about 6.15. Ben's running to Walmart, as I said, or I think Walmart's the only spot that we could find lentils in a can. So I think he's going to go there and we're going to make some crock pot, not a crock pot, a casserole. It's called like a toss and bake casserole. It's super easy to make and I think that's really about it. Ben and I might go for a walk. My stomach's like, like bothering me right now. It's like bloated, like it just feels very airy. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.